Hi, my name is Tim Matthew and I'm a live and studio engineer and also a fiddle player. I was recently asked to host a workshop on fiddle technology and uh, Remike were kind enough to send me a couple of their microphones, the uh, V5200 and the V5200LB. Um, the main thrust of the workshop was investigating and exploring uh, different ways of amplifying a fiddle. Primarily the people who were turning up to the workshop were traditional musicians wanted to play in small ensembles. And we tried out a number of microphones, including the new mic ones. And what we discovered was that the remiked mics sound great. Uh, the, the LB model, I would say, is less suitable to the small acoustic sounding ensembles. The straightforward V5200 is the one that they all want. And it sounds great. It sounds supernatural, uh, but it also gives a nice strong signal and it's great at avoiding feedback. I'm very happy with it. And uh, you can see a little excerpt of my workshop here. Thanks, Ray Mike. And then I just recently got sent. These microphones from a Danish company um, called Rima, and they're quite, they're really interesting. It's not like any other microphone I've used. There's two different kinds. Uh, Could you say the name of the company again? Remic. R E M I C. Remic. Remic. So this, what they sent me is uh, two different types. One is designed for people playing in a live environment with lots of instruments, so it's obviously got a kind of much tighter cut range. And the other one is uh, slightly more natural for if you're doing studio or solo work, basically. So, uh, this is the first room. It also means the cable doesn't matter against the fiddle so much. So that was the first thing that I really liked about it. And it's a, it's a little microphone in the end. And the whole thing wedges either under the fingerboard or under the tailpiece. Oh. Um, so it's quite unobtrusive. It doesn't need any adhesive or anything. No, it? no, just oh. just wedges. Okay. Obviously, if you if you're putting it under the tailpiece, there's potential for altering your mm. tuning the number. My tailpiece is quite close to the bridge. Um, so we'll just start off with the. Actually, it's a different sound though. If you put it under the fingerboard. Yeah. Or yeah. Mm -hmm. The finger would definitely get a bit more finger noise, yeah. um, and obviously not the tail um, But I'll demonstrate the both just quickly so you can mm -hmm. see the difference. So just slide them down now. So is it spongy? Is it yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you can... I'll, I'll leave them out so you can have a poke around them after. So it just sits in there, and then this little bit of felt stuff comes mm -hmm. in there. Really neat. And, uh, Should really have demonstrated with a nicer sounding fiddle with it <laughs> and a better player, but it'll do for now. So, so this is the neck. Thank <laughs> you. 
Do you still prefer the tablet? Oh, yeah, I take that. <laughs> that, that but actually, the, um, the first time I tried it, I think I had it in a different position because mm. it definitely mm. sounded sweeter. But, well, um, so this, this, actually, when I did that test, that was with the other microphone. So this is the one that's designed, this is the green one, this is the one that's designed for playing with a loud group. And when I first did sign for one of these, which I think was probably this model, it sounded to me like the sound you get from using a microphone and a pickup. It feels kind of mm. halfway between the mm. two. It's, it doesn't quite have the air of a, of a DPA, mm -hmm. but it's more natural than a pickup. So you could save yourself some money by only having one thing instead of two. Mm -hmm. That's how I felt about it. And then this guy, you should hear, it sounds a little bit more natural. I really like how minimal this thing is, that you can't really see it. Uh -huh. Obviously, the sound is probably more important than the feelings, but it's, it's worth being in mind. That's always going to be the be the case. Oh, so I was wondering, you know, so if you're in a, in, oh, in a deafening band, just as deafening a band, I would probably still. Band. I think I would consider using this with a loud band. No, with a not loud band. With a not loud band, yeah, I would go for this one um, because it sounds to me that's without anything done to it. It sounds like a really usable fiddle sound. Uh -huh. Sounds pretty like yeah. mm -hmm. considering the, the quality of the fiddle. And play it. it sounds like it sounds to me like a, a sound that I could, with very little work, make sound nice and natural and fit within a different place. So you wouldn't need to be a massive expert in sound engineering no. to work. Exactly. And that's a really useful thing because you don't always have a massive expert. Or a simple desk like that. Would, would yeah, yeah, exactly. As long as exactly. it's exactly. got phantom power, the fact that I've done nothing to it and it sounds natural is quite encouraging. So. And yeah. Did you have a cost for those? Yes. These are uh, seven hundred dollars each, which means that currently they're a bit more expensive than they were because of the exchange rate. Mm -hmm. So five hundred and twenty something pounds last time I looked, um, which is. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's uh, they, they are more expensive. However, I would say they they would last longer. I, mean, I, I imagine that they've got a pretty good guarantee. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say the last, it would last longer, especially when it's a lovely braided cable. Mm -hmm. It's cheaper than buying a microphone and a pickup um, mm -hmm. to get that same mm -hmm. sound. Which model is that one? This one is. So the, green, the green one is the uh, V5200 LV for loud band, I guess. <laughs> and the red one is the V5200. Um, 
Yeah. The green one I used first, so that's the one I had, that was probably tighter sound and it was mm. pretty nasal down here. Right. And the, the, red the, the red one is the, uh, the one for, for not so loud bands. And, and that's the Kiwi. Uh, what number is that one again? That's just the 5200. Okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed by these.